I want to talk to you for a minute here about two groups that Jesus identified as being of Satan. Uh, literally, uh, Satan he uses in the passage. And it's extremely important for you to understand what these two movements are. So that if you're part of it, you can repent and get out of it. Because you can't please the Lord in this system. First and foremost, those who claim to love Jesus but yet reject the scriptures. Um, modern Christians are across the board. They are guilty of that one. Oh, I love Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Jesus is the one. We, go, we come and, and we praise Jesus. And when it, What about the Bible? Well, I don't want to be too legalistic. The letter killeth. It's the, the, the spirit that gives life. You know, and it, they don't even understand that's the law versus you know New Testament. We won't get into that, though, will we? Um, and they get into all this stuff about how that they just they love Jesus, but they're not real big on the scriptures. You know, and I just want to talk about Jesus all the time. Uh, well, if you would actually read the scriptures, Matthew chapter 16, verses 21 through 23, Jesus starts to talk to his disciples about how he's prophesied to die for the sins of the world and that how the scriptures talk about this. And Peter rebukes Jesus and says, be it far from me. No, I don't want it to happen that way because he loves Jesus more than he loves the scriptures, you see. And what does Jesus say? He doesn't say, hey, I really appreciate what you're saying, Peter. But no, he says, get thee behind me, Satan, thou art an offense unto me. You offend me. You are Satan, is what Jesus said. Look it up. Look it up. Don't, don't base it on your own opinions. And well, yeah, but see, uh, no, it's what Jesus said. And the second group that Jesus Christ openly called of Satan, uh, his own words, not my words, not my opinions, um, Revelation chapter 2, verse 9, and Revelation chapter 3, verse 9, two places where Jesus condemned those who say they are Jews, and yet they are not. And he says that they are the synagogue of Satan. I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. It's a lie for you to pretend that you're a Jew. And there's a bunch of people out there going around and they're, they speak English. And yet all of a sudden they can't use the English word Jesus. It's a false God and it's a false name and all this other stuff. Uh, no, it isn't. It's what's based in the King James Bible. And the King James Bible is the greatest book that ever showed up on this earth. Documented. Historical fact. Your opinion doesn't mean anything. Um, it's not some kind of a satanic conspiracy that the word Jesus is secretly Zeus or something like this. The New Testament was written in Greek, not in Hebrew. Okay? So when you get these people, these nuts coming out, and they're saying, you should never say Jesus. It has to be Yeshua or Yahushua. Yahushua was Joshua, by the way. I'd like to point that out. Joshua didn't die on the cross. Jesus did. But people get trapped by this. They get ensnared by it, not realizing that they are actually dealing with somebody that is from the synagogue of Satan. All right? If you can't say the name Jesus... There's a reason. There's a spirit there. If you are Hebrew, if you are actually a real Jew, well then by all means say Yeshua. But if you speak English, if you're a Gentile, you have no business saying Yeshua. None. At all. And you are in very serious sin when you do that. Um, the Lord doesn't need you coming out and pretending that you have some special connection to him uh, that enables you to say Yeshua or something like this. Uh, you're playing with some real dangerous stuff when you get into that movement. Um, I can assure you of the power of the name Jesus. I've dealt with spiritual beings and things like that, spiritual attacks where devils are manifesting and I use the name Jesus and they go away, just like the Bible says. All right, resist the devil, he will flee from you. Um, I have seen the name, the power of the name of Jesus. I put bumper magnets on my vehicles with quotations of scripture that use the word Jesus, and it offends people, and they don't want to tailgate me. All right, the name Jesus has power. Very, very high power. Unless you're a Satanist and you just want to say, well, no, it's actually not very powerful. Okay, synagogue of Satan, go away. Um... Well, I love Jesus. I just don't want to make a big problem about all the, you know, um, scriptures and how this is whatever. And I just want to worship Jesus. Okay. Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me. Uh, I don't really see it as, you know, th that we're going into the end times. I'm not really sure. And, uh, okay, Satan. You reject the word of God, you're Satan. 
if you come out and you reject the word of God by saying it should be Yeshua and it should be all this other stuff, you're at the synagogue of Satan. Uh, don't tell me that you're right with God. All right? You better repent. You better repent. You better get away from that stuff. If you're newly saved, run away from anybody that starts saying Yeshua and Yahashua and Yeshua Hamashiach and all this. Unless they're Jewish. If they're a physical Jew, okay. They have something. If they're not a Jew, then they're the synagogue of Satan. And that's just the way it is.